Hello everybody, today is uh, Tuesday, April the 14th, 2015. My name is Michael from Global FX Club and this is the Daily Moving Average video. Just before going forward, please do pause the recording and read over our risk disclaimer. All right, so let's jump right into the markets, okay? Um, as of late, performance-wise, um, a nice uh, midway through the month of April, okay? Um, thus far, our big trade was the Aussie Yen from 90.83. Um, had some small hiccups, but then overall, we are up um, just over 110 pips. We'll have to update that, but just over 110 pips. And our members, please do sign into the members area as we are in to open trades okay um, also when you click on the trade signals you can also see we do keep the setups of the past trades that worked out pretty well um, going forward we'll just keep the most recent 10 or so ish just so you have an idea of the setup that worked out and you could kind of um, imitate sort of um, these types of trades like for example the recent Aussie dollar close um, that was a plus 73 that was a nice breakout there okay um, but as of late though uh, we are in uh, two open trades okay those open trades are the Kiwi Yen and the Kiwi Dollar Kiwi Yen stops here are at break even already okay I'll actually pull up a cleaner chart of the Kiwi Yen um, but we also uh, wrote about this pair, okay? So this was the Kiwi Yen trade that we took at 90.49, 90.50, okay? And stops originally were at 91.20, but we have revised that to break even, and now we look for uh, lower levels on the pair. The other trade setup and the other trade, uh, not the setup, but the other trade is the Kiwi Dollar. That was relatively, um, that's relatively new, that's fresh, okay, you can see the um, date on there. But we took it at 75.32, a nice breakout, and uh, thus far we have had a back test. Now, with that being said, let's look at the um, Kiwi Dollar. Um, if you're wondering what platform we are using, this is indeed Think or Swim, and you can see they have some cool um, stuff here. Um, this is Tetris, but um, the currency map, you can see what's doing relatively well. As of late, you can see that all currencies are up against the U.S. dollar, okay? Um, with the leading being the NOC, okay? Um, followed by, uh, not too far away, the Kiwi and chilling behind that is a, is about the British pound okay um, now let's look at the um, two trades we are in first and then we'll look at other trades as well um, so first off here's the Kiwi dollar so we're up just about 12 pips though so far okay um, you can see from our setup pull that back up so we got in a bit higher and then you can see prices really reject that area okay um, we are looking for a move down towards 73.26 into the 71.30 area. That would be a measured move into the 161.8% Fibonacci extension. So this is the ideal target zone. Um, we may take off half, three quarters around the 100%, but we'll see how prices react. We'll see how prices move. We are in two Kiwi positions. Um, and then you can see here, um, though we got in higher, but probably move stops a little bit lower sooner than later. So members, um, please uh, keep a close eye out on for that alert. Um, then also you can join us in the chat room. You'll get it via email. For those who have requested the SMS, you'll get the SMS and etc. All right, so Kiwi Dollar, Kiwi Yen, they're both around the same level. We got in higher on the Kiwi Yen, so stops already, again, are break even. And we will lock in some profits sooner than later to take off some of that risk that we have currently on the Kiwi Dollar. All right, now let's jump into some other pairs, okay? And uh, let me pull up that moving average chart for you guys, okay? Um Let's take away some of these drawings. Okay. First I want to look at is the Dalian. Alright. The Dalian is of interest. 
a lot of major factors let me just fix this box for you guys and again if you have any requests before we do these videos don't be shy um, you could jump in the chat room and ask for a specific pair commodity stock to be covered um, we'll be happy to do so um, and at the same time you can look at our trade setups alerts that we sent out there or we could just chat about trades in general um, but here we have the dalian okay dalian i um an interesting juncture um favorable thus far is going to be these longs why we have a we had a back test his support and then we have a breakout um and then uh some downside floor not too far away just about 119 psychological support and as long as we do stay above upside is preferred we could even get towards new highs okay that is something that we do not rule out okay so keep a close eye on that and actually um i'll probably go ahead and write a trade setup on that pair um the last one we wrote about that's doing pretty well I think is about flatline in terms of the trade setup um, again just click on members area or you can see the drop down trade setups will be in this most recent tab here or you can just click um, on the trade setups and then you know, you'll get the archive of all the most recent setups even all the ones we have written but the last one was about the pound kiwi so that's working out well um, you can see the analysis the thought process the correlations etc um, so again just jump into the chat room and look at that but back to the dollar yen so long as the first degree pivot at 118.70 holds followed by the 118.30 holds upside is likely possibly towards new highs all right so keep a close eye out on that all right um, nothing really has been of critical juncture but if we do break to the downside then I'm not gonna rule out for the losses and that downside is one that I will likely play okay <coughs> oh, excuse me guys <coughs> sorry okay so as of late we have measured move hit trend line but again I just don't rule out for the top side uh, moves um, but not trading it unless the downside support is indeed broken Aussie dollar okay Aussie dollar interesting juncture it is below the uh, 50 period SMA on the four hour chart and that is indicative of further losses that bolts well um, from a correlation standpoint with our Kiwi dollar position that we're currently in and so long as that holds a uh, possible downside towards this um, 75 um, level before uh, further moves higher okay so that's um, the ideal play for the Aussie dollar okay if you look at the Aussie on the daily chart um, we still in my opinion have some downside to go uh, you can see this green box so not too far away um, still preferred the 76 fib on the major upside 59 to 60 to the 1.10 um, 25 move is still in play um, don't rule that out okay um, even towards even deeper than that but first off it's 76 that's ideal for the Aussie um, we spoke about the Kiwi and let's look at one more pair of the euro before we leave off okay euro um, another downside is preferred um, thus far um, as long and then we have the 50 which crossed over the 100 it crossed over the 200 a while ago um, seeing that bearish uh, death cross so um, stay to sidelines in my opinion with the euro I don't like the risk reward but if you are short stay short and trail your stops alright guys we'll leave off here if you have any questions please email us at info at global um, jump in the chat room um, access any questions there or feel free to Skype us at global FS club and myself or one of the other traders will be happy to get back to you as soon as possible alright guys cheers and good luck trading